Conservation officers are fully empowered law enforcement officers for the state of Michigan, so we are able to enforce all state law. Uh, we are also federally deputized on a, with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Conservation officers carry firearms for their safety, safety of the public. You don't know if that other person is a threat to you, so for protection for the self, also for, for the people, um, the resources, it's important that they carry a firearm to make sure they're protected. So the firearm testing that the recruits have to qualify on is uh, administered by the Mission Coalition on Law Enforcement Standards and, and they uh, qualify with their handguns, with their rifles and their shotguns. So there's four different firearms that they qualify on and that they have to use uh, to be able to go out into the field, not just through MCOLs but also through our division standard as well. One of the big things that we are trained in is active shooter training. So if there's an active shooter incident at a school, a uh, hospital, a church, anywhere, we are able to deal with that and all of our officers are trained in that uh, field. I arrived in Mount Pleasant. Uh, I met with my fellow officers that were helping assist other agencies. Uh, we were told that there was a subject that shot and killed two people on the campus of CMU. I brought a patrol vessel from our warehouse to help assist the other agencies. Our job was to observe the area, uh, scan and search, uh, looking for the subject. You kind of mentally prepare yourself even before you even get there. Uh, you fall back on your training. You do kind of like what-if scenarios. Even as you're patrolling, so okay, if he pops out here, if I see him here, what am I going to do? And Because in that case, if that person does come out at that time, you kind of already uh, have a game plan of what to do and you're also scanning the area to see what's behind, what would be behind that person. Because uh, the last thing you want to do is hurt someone else that was a bystander that was close by in the area, in the vicinity. So you're just constantly looking, constantly being aware of your surroundings to see what could happen next. 